Okay, here we go again with the uh, multi-dock and just an expansion really on the uh, the first multi-dock video. Uh, so I'm uh, going to use the PRV here, but this can pretty much be done with more or less any of the views. Uh, it's just really uh, showing how to load two or three copies of the of the window in. Uh, looks like my system's complaining it's low on video memory. Anyway, uh, here we go. So uh, what I'm going to do to start with is uh, we'll just double click on our track which will bring up the PRV down here in the uh, multi-dock. And from there as before we can drag that up a little bit if we want. As you can see I haven't got the track pane showing there. Uh, now one of the advantages of the multi-dock is it can hold more than one window. So if we want to work on lots of uh, MIDI tracks. Obviously the old way uh, is still available if you want it. You can obviously show the uh, track pane down at the end here and you can pick and choose your tracks from there and they appear down at the end. So uh, we can take that there like so and just pick out a few bits and pieces as you can see. Uh, and you can see them down the end there. Or, alternatively, if uh, if you prefer, we'll go back to our drum track and hide that pane again, so we can't see that. Uh, and right-click down here, and we can lock the contents. So now, when we double-click on another track, we'll end up with whatever's on that track in a completely separate. Uh, PRV. And that's quite handy because you can open up uh, as many as you want. Again, you just got to remember to lock the contents as you do that. Uh, locking as we go along. Uh, and you can see we've got three there. That'll do, I think. If I shift uh, D, that'll enlarge that. And there we can see the bits and pieces. And you can just click on these tracks at the bottom here tabs at the bottom, sorry, to jump between the MIDI tracks. And that's a real quick way of being able to edit three or four tracks, or as many as you want, really. You can just keep piling them in there. As long as you uh, remember to lock the contents, you will end up with a new PRV every time. You can also, if you prefer, use uh, left shift uh, control and the arrow keys. That'll do the same thing. And for those of you that don't like the multi-dock the way it is, again, you've always got the option to actually undock the multi-dock. That's just jumped across onto my other monitor. Let's just uh, drag that down. You can then reshape that as or resize it as you wish. If it starts to uh, catch at the top, you can see it's trying to dock itself there. If you, uh, as you hold the control key down, that won't do that anymore, as you can see there. So uh, that's the way of stopping it from docking. I did mention that, I believe, in the other video. But you can shape that to size that to any size you want, and you've still got the option of flicking backwards and forwards there, and it will still uh, enlarge and shrink on the press of D as well. So you may find that handy uh, if you don't like the multi-dock docked. So uh, it's quite confusing really having a multi-dock that can be docked and undocked and the windows can be undocked for the multi-dock. <laughs> Almost riddles, but it all makes sense anyway. It always makes sense to me and that's one way of using that. It's uh, That's a great way of being able to edit four, five, six MIDI tracks just at the push of a button. Uh, very, very quick as you can see. Anyway, hope that helps. Thanks.